Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. In this video, we'll be looking at how you can use Dehumanizer 2 and Reformer Pro from Krotos Audio to add some really interesting textures to voices. In fact, you can do more than just adding textures, you can completely transform a voice if required. We'll start by looking at Dehumanizer on its own, and then combine this with Reformer Pro to add an extra layer of interest. Okay, so let me just show you how I've got this set up. We've got Dehumanizer. Currently, as you can see, it's in Bypass. I've got an aux track with my microphone input coming into it, and Dehumanizer is just running as an insert on this track. Okay, so let's start by going through a few of the presets and just see what Dehumanizer is capable of. As soon as I unbypass this, you'll be hearing my voice as a live input, but processed through the plugin. <laughs> This is the collapsing announcer preset. Complex dissonant vocoder. This is a dual collapsing announcer preset. Well, as you can tell so far, Dehumanizer is really good fun and it creates fast, real-time vocal effects that can be run in all kinds of different ways. And it has this module-based approach where you can run things either in series or parallel. So this preset is an example of a parallel routing. And it sounds like this. If I just skip through some other presets, I'm just going to find one that's uh, in series. So this one, really simple one, just pitch shift. Hello, this is a goblin voice. I'm now a goblin. And uh, I'll just bypass that for a second. If I were to click on this, I could, of course, uh, adapt this and change the settings. So let's change this and actually pitch it up even further. <coughs> Too high. I think I'm going to actually pull the octaves down. Let's go to minus one octave and uh, set the semitones to zero. So it's just a single octave drop. Hello, this is now a really deep voice. So far, I've just been recalling presets, but of course you can manually do stuff by dragging any one of these modules out and adapting the routing. So we could go from here into the ring modulator and out of that into the pitch shift. And that's an example of a series routing. If I just go back to some of the presets, this one's in parallel. Let's see how this sounds. It's called Cracked Up. Hello, this is the Cracked Up preset with parallel routing. Well, as you can probably gather, there's almost infinite possibilities with this plugin. And importantly, there's no need for multiple tracks with multiple iterations of the plugin. It's fast, tidy, and it's really fun to use as well. Okay, let's take a listen to some more of the presets. I'm going to go into the sci-fi section, actually, which is within dialogue. Let's take a listen to some of these. <laughs> I am a flanged human. Preset. Sounds a bit like the Daleks there with the ring modulator. Some really interesting settings there. Just going back into that menu, I think I'm going to recall one of the ones we heard. Possibly the humanoid robot. This is the humanoid robot. Now let's combine this with Reformer Pro to add that extra texture and level of detail. So if I just go over here, I'm just going to show my sends. What we've got is a send from this track to another aux, which has Reformer Pro running on it. Reformer Pro can add some great texture to voice recordings when you run it in parallel, either on its own auxiliary track, as we've got here, or you could potentially run it with the wet-dry knob directly on the track itself. 
Before we hear this in action, I just want to mention the fact that Reformer Pro responds differently to pitch and dynamics, so it's a prime candidate for voices, and it will react to loud and quiet voices, as well as lower and higher pitches, so you really get some interesting results out of it as you vary the input signal. Okay, so Reformer Pro allows you to load up to four separate presets, and the ones I've chosen to load here are all from Penguin Grenade's Arcs and Sparks library for Reformer Pro, so hopefully this is going to allow us to create some interest. Let's re-enable Dehumanizer, add Reformer Pro onto it, and then alternate between these different presets and just see what kind of extra texture we can add to it. So re-enabling Dehumanizer. Let's try a different preset. You can hear with my normal voice playing on Dehumanizer and Bypass, it's triggering all this stuff from Reformer. So here we've got this cellophane sound combined with my voice. Here we've got these sparks and it's responsive to my pitch. So it really is dependent upon the input signal. Okay, re-enabling Dehumanizer once again. It's very tempting just to spend the whole day doing this because it's so much fun. But let's just go and recall another preset. I'll go into the monsters category within dialogue. This is in Dehumanizer. Let's try the Angry Giant preset. So I've temporarily bypassed Reformer Pro. Let's try this on its own. I am an angry giant. This is another pie monster. This is the big guy preset. I think I'm going to go back and I quite liked the Angry Giant one. Angry Giant. Let's now once again combine this with Reformer Pro, specifically from Soundmorph's Matter Mayhem library. So we've got four different things loaded up here. Debris falling, blow up wood structure, head of stones fall and tiles fall concrete. And I've actually switched my send on the microphone input to a, a pre-fade send so you can hear this on its own. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to mute my microphone, unmute the reformer track, and then just alternate between these four before we then combine it once again with Dehumanizer. Here we go. And of course, we can adjust the balance on this. So if I just reduce the level of the dehumanizer track, we'll then hear a bit more of Reformer Pro. One, two, three. <laughs> These plugins are such good fun. And you know, I think that the performative nature of both Dehumanizer 2 and Reformer Pro really makes manipulating voices very easy. And also it encourages experimentation because you can just run a microphone input through them and try things out. I hope you found this video useful. For more information on these plugins, go to krotosaudio.com. Thanks for watching.